August 10th, 1980, Shea Stadium, New York City. In the midst of filling the big shoes left by Keith Moon, drummer Kenny Jones found himself in a memorable, I'll bet comical moment during the Who's performance at Shea Stadium. On that summer night in 1980, the Who were headlining the iconic Shea Stadium in New York City. Jones, still relatively new to the band, was giving it his all behind the drum kit, determined to uphold the Who's legacy. As the band powered through their set, Jones felt the undeniable urge to sneeze. Caught in intensity of the performance, he attempted to stifle the sneeze, but his efforts were in vain. The sneeze erupted, startling Jones mid-performance. In a split second of the sneeze's force, Jones lost his grip on one of his drumsticks. The stick flew from his hand, sailing through the air in a graceful arc before landing with a distinct thud on the stage floor. Unfazed by the unexpected turn of events, Jones kept the beat with his remaining stick, all while trying to figure out how to retrieve the rogue drumstick without missing a crucial moment in the song. Quick on his feet, Jones managed to lean over, grabbing the fallen stick with his spare hand while maintaining the rhythm with the other. The audience, initially unaware of the mishap, erupted into laughter and cheers as they witnessed Jones' seamlessly recovery. With a sheepish grin, Jones continued the performance, now holding both drumsticks with a renewed sense of determination. The incident, though a brief moment of drumming distress, added a lighthearted touch to the show and highlighted Jones' ability to handle unexpected challenges on stage. The drumming dilemma at Shea Stadium became a memorable episode showcasing Kenny Jones' adaptability and sense of humor in the midst of a live performance with The Who.